agree with is that look 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 okay watch watch you go you hug this wall right and now look you start scaling up on this angle by hugging this wall and you 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 get right imagine instead of going on the back of this wall and walking up along this wall you go in the middle here and then you peek out when you get right now you have a horizontal peek the problem when you do it like this is like you start scaling like diagonally can't even move to the right because the wall is blocking you, right? So you have to W key into this angle and it's terrible. So generally what I tell people is if there's a wall in front of you and behind you, just go in the middle. And that's, I apply that to a lot of my peaks. Instead of like hugging this wall or hugging this wall, you just stand in the middle and then you have the option of going between both. Hey YouTube. Um, unfortunately the audio seems to be pretty bad on this video. Like my microphone keeps cutting out and uh, all of that stuff so hopefully i can get that fixed for the next one but um i appreciate you guys watching and hopefully the peaking tip has helped if you guys have any questions about it uh let me know in the comments and um if you want to get a little bit more specific advice you can join my discord and uh, ask some questions there thanks for watching and enjoy the rest of the video roger that all right let's hop into this one what uh what sense are you on here just so i know 0.41200 holy shit yeah. Well, you probably want to lower your sense, but we'll see if, it, if it's a huge problem here. Um, if you're going to insta-dart like this on the roof without doing a one bounce, it might be better for you to do it from lane. <clears throat> because if you do it from lane, then you have the option of pushing all the way up. Just because you're a little bit closer. Otherwise, if you're going to dart and then rotate off like this, you might as well throw the dart from where you're standing now. Planted. One enemy remaining. Okay. The only thing I would really change is your util usage here. I think the peaks were good. I think yeah, the timing on stuff was good. Um, since, like you mentioned here, you don't play solo much, yeah, and you're learning more agents, it, it should be worthwhile for you to um probably just buy drone more often. On pistol round, having drone is really nice because um, if you rotate A and you drone, you almost guarantee to get a tag because it takes a lot of bullets to break the drone. So it's really good to use as a retake. <clears throat> if you're going to buy a double shock like this and you don't have lineups, it might be better for you to just go tree instead of heaven and uh, like shock door here or something like that. <laughs> but uh, retaking from tree in general is pretty good. Um, yeah, pretty good round, I would say. Generally, B players go something like this. Start scans nothing, and they go market. And then they join from here. You see the pathing on this, how, sh how much shorter it is? And you get closer range for your drone. So it's a little bit better for you to do it like this. Start from lane, scan nothing, go to market, drone mid. Instead of going the long way like this. It could be beneficial for you to play fade instead of sub that way, when you're in a situation like this, instead of using shock darts, your first reaction will be to use fade dog. And if you use fade dog here, um, you might just be able to swing with it, right? So the, the immediate reaction to use shock dart isn't bad because you're trying to use utility. The problem is you don't fight, right? You just throw shock dart and run away. Um, <laughs> when you play fade, you can almost peek off of every piece of utility you have in your kit. I mean, you could probably argue that you can peek off of every piece of utility in your kit. Right, you eye, you know where they are, you peek. You fade dog, you know where they are, you peek. You nade, does damage, you know, hit them, you can swing. And then obviously your ulti uh, makes a trail, right? So if I were to suggest an agent, I would prefer you to play fade over Sova just because it's very straightforward for when you should take a duel. Essentially, anytime you use anything in your kit, you can probably try and take a duel, right? Sova is very different in that aspect because you can dart and fight. That's fine. You can't really drone and fight because you can't drone for yourself. And shocking and fighting isn't obvious because you don't know if the shock is going to hit, right? And even if it does hit, it might only do 75 damage at max. So you can't really set yourself up for duels that much when you play Sova like your own duels of course you can like you can just like 
throw in fights with your dart and throw a shock dart and swing with it and stuff, but um, it's less obvious. So that's my recommendation. Um, if you are gonna stick with the Sova, then you have to know when, and you have to know like better timings to when you use. So, so I I kind of see the main issue is that you're not really comfortable with your utility, so you're losing timings on your duels. Um, the round is over, <laughs> ten seconds in, because you don't path the same way your raise and sage does. You drop down and you go this way. Maybe, maybe. And then by the time they're fighting, you decide, oh, let me go back and push B main instead of going back to mid, right? Essentially, at this point, you should kind of just be following what they're doing because it's either you, you follow what they're doing and you fight mid with them or you go and push B main with your dart, right? You're kind of stuck in a limbo here. In this case, I would probably just go and swing mid as three. But they both die mid. We don't get the trade because we hesitated. Our jet goes back and refights mid because we're down numbers. He dies. He almost smith. Okay. The two coming up mid on you. Nice peek. This is very good peek. I like how you take your time here. Spike down mid. You probably don't take this 1v1 right now. Your omen has all the mid control here. Right, he just came from top mid, he flanked, he killed two. You got bomb bottom mid here. It's better for you to probably pick a corner here and then just play. It's okay to take the 1v1 duel if, if your omen <laughs> is super far away, but in this situation, you know mid's clear, so you should probably regroup it. But you get the kill. <laughs> so here, when you instadar and get the scan, your immediate reaction is to fall, right? And falling isn't a bad play, but I'd rather you stay on the lane and shock dart and then go for this jiggle. Like, you can, like, stand on the ledge, hold the angle directly for B main, take a couple of shots, Maybe even throw a shock dart and then fall after, right? You don't want to immediately fall like this because you're essentially surrendering lane. Like, oh, now they can come up lane before you even give it a chance to, to take. So a little bit too passive, I think. Okay, so this dart, I'm not a huge fan of. Because watch. This dart is going to scan. Boom. And you're not even on site yet. Right? So it's essentially wasted. Imagine your dart scans three times right now it's not going to do anything you can't play off of it too far so it's better for you to bounce your dart off of this wall to land on this wall so you can get aiming control a little bit safely or you just hold it and wait until you're closer and then now you use your dart when you're around this right on this side of the wall and timing your util on attack is really important yeah, yeah, we, we talked about this dart, right? But you can kind of see it play out here. This guy pushes up a man and kills this guy. All right, so instead of darting sight, especially when you only have single initiator, uh, use your dart for a main instead. Then when you're about to execute, use your drone. But really just focus on darting somewhere early, like dart mid, so you can take mid control. Dart or drone a main, so you can take a main control. Right, we need to uh, help our teammates actually get Mechanics are fine. Um, if I were you, I would lower your sense just a little bit so you have a little bit more consistency. But it's not really the main problem now. I think your peaks are strong. I think you have good gun hygiene. I think that if you're going to continue to play Sova, you need to be a little bit more aggressive and also have a little bit more useful utility. Otherwise, I would recommend you play Fade. Fade, almost all of your utility is close range, so you can take space with it as well. And yeah, 